Hello, my tiki friends. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I wanted to show you my latest tiki mug haul that I got from Retro Planet with a lot of tiki farm mugs. Check it out. Okay, y'all, I am so excited. My tiki friends, it is time for the unboxing. I have been waiting to open this package for quite some time now. So the first one I have right now, this is from Tiki Farm. And this is, I'm really excited about this one. This is the Maori head mug. So cool. I am a huge fan of Maori culture itself. Uh, I Growing up in Southern California, I actually had friends from New Zealand and we're Maori. And honestly, <laughs> Maori people have some of the best musicians around. My buddy's a, a musician and he just, his voice is just, you know, magical it's just really cool but i love the culture i love uh the warrior indigenous spirit i think this mug is utterly amazing i i've been noticing him on instagram and i know that there's a couple uh bars where they're they're putting they're getting this mug and they're putting their names on it i dig that this is a 2020 mug design tiki farm uh ben's art so cool awesome like i said i'm kind of like a sucker for anything that's maori anyway but i just dig this design that is so awesome i cannot wait to display this guy here in my bar so cool look at that beautiful okay this next one. Oh, like i said i love like uh, one of the things that got me so excited or really got me into tiki is I love the celebration of Polynesian culture. I love the idea um, of indigenous folks and warrior spirit. I, I myself am Native American uh, and, and Mexican, but it's I just love it. I love it. I just think it's so cool. I grew up in Southern California. Uh, a lot of my friends were Pacific Islanders. Uh, I had a lot of friends that were... Um, from the islands and um, a lot of Filipino friends who make the have such a great history and bartending and the tiki culture, but I, I just dig it. Anything that I love it all. But this this one I've been wanting for a long time. This is the Kava Kava mug, and this is by Flounder. Uh, he's the designer on this. Check this guy out. He is gorgeous, and what it's modeled after is the Easter Island. Um, Gentlemen, and, and that's just so cool. Look, the Kava Kava Man of Easter Island. Look how gorgeous this mug is. Just so awesome. Tall. I love the design. If you've ever actually seen the real Kava Kava Man, like the pictures from the museums, he has a spine that just is just like this. I, I, everything about this, he's just so iconic. And when you think of Tiki, you think of Easter Island, and I love the Maori um, as well, but I mean, you think of like... Ugh, the Moai head and all that. It is just awesome. Uh, this one was designed in 2017. Flounder, Tiki Farm. Y'all, I have seen this mug, and I know this mug has been out for quite some time, but this is one of those where I was like, oh, I'm going to get that mug. I'm going to get that mug. And you know, sometimes you just got to pull the trigger and get it. And look at that. Look how beautiful they look together. So stoked. Okay, so this is the third mug that I got from the Retro Planet haul here. And again, this is one of those mugs that I've been wanting for a really long time. Okay, take a look. Let's unbox this guy. I think a lot of people probably know who what this is. Aha! Let's get the box out of the way. This is the mug from the Art of Tiki. So this is the mug, it's right on the book cover for Art of Tiki. Look how gorgeous that is, that is so awesome. Uh, tiki, tiki Farm, and then this one is by Sven. Uh, just so cool. <sighs> yeah, there's, I guess call them Tiki Godfathers. And when I think of Sven, I think of a Tiki Godfather, you know? Uh, there's people who really were a huge part in like telling the history of Tiki and he's definitely one of them. Um, I love it. Look at that. 
Look how gorgeous that is. That's so awesome. So um, I did a video pretty recently where I talked about you don't want to really, you want to make sure you don't buy the knockoff mugs. Now it's really easy to go on Amazon or eBay and all that. And I, it, it kills me because there's amazing designers who have their incredible mugs taken and knocked off. Now there's a difference between a knockoff mug and a mug that is done as an homage or they, they don't manufacture the mug anymore. Um, there is a company that's called Dynasty uh, Wholesale, and they actually own, and I'm going to say the name correctly here, Orchids of Hawaii, not Orchids, <laughs> Orchards, on another video I said Orchards, someone's like, no, it's Orchids, I know, it's late sometimes when I record these videos, <laughs> and I try to do them without, you know, a lot of editing, but anyway, they own a lot of the old molds. So there's a lot of classic mugs from like the 50s and the 60s, even the 70s that they've reproduced it. I, I have a couple of them here in the bar, um, but they have a couple that I've been wanting to get for a while. So here they are. Now, here's the thing about, I'm gonna pull them right here where you can't see them in camera, uh, but Here's the thing, They're, the mugs that they do tend to be crazy affordable because they are kind of reproducing them and they're from China and all that. But they're really iconic mugs. Now, something my wife had mentioned to me, I didn't have any surfer girls. I didn't have any hula girls in my bar. So this is to help make up for it. So I got the hula girl. And it, DW160. So again, uh, Dynasty, Dynasty Wholesale. Put it right there. And the other one is a very iconic old tiki mug. The skull head tiki mug. How cool is that? Now, one of these days, I think I'm going to try to find one of the vintage ones. Uh, but you know what? For about six bucks, I definitely could not go wrong. Uh, look at that, I think it's awesome. Uh, word for the wise, any of these type of mugs that you see the handle, I've just had this happen with a couple other mugs. Don't put hot stuff in it. Uh, they're, <laughs> they're tiki mugs, not coffee mugs. Uh, they will probably burn your hands. <laughs> yeah, unless it's made for coffee itself. But look, y'all, I'm so excited. Uh, I've been waiting to open these up. The, really, these are the three main ones, the ones from the Tiki Farm that I was so excited to get. And I think they're going to look beautiful here in the bar. Anyway, I thank you all so much for watching. If you like content like this, let me know in the comments below. It lets YouTube and it lets Instagram and Facebook, however, however you're watching this video. Um, my favorite thing is when I can get in touch with the community. So even if you like write to me and say, hey, Tony, hey, I like your videos. You know, or, hey, I got that mug, or this is what I think, or, hey, hey, you said this wrong. <laughs> Let me know, because I want to hear from you all. I, I definitely appreciate it. That's why I do it. Uh, more than anything, I do it because I am a fan of what I see out there. And, y'all, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Just keep taking, my friends, and stay safe.